Good evening and welcome to our oratory, our little oratory here in the parish of Our Lady Immaculate in Darndale. Welcome to our evening reflection. But first of all, I'd like to, if I may, uh, wish my godchild, Ailish Cody, a very happy birthday on this day. And now an apology. If you were watching last night, you saw Mick O'Connor, Father Mick O'Connor, uh, in a lovely little reflection he gave, but he made a big mistake. He mixed up the names of our two dogs. And Barney especially is not very happy. So I have to say that, point out that Barney is the handsome dog and the other one with the rat-like face is Roxy. They're Barney's words, not mine. So good evening and welcome to my, especially to my, if I may, my fellow cocooners those of us who have been cocooning now for some time. And it doesn't get any easier, does it? But if you look up the word cocoon in the dictionary, it says it's a, a retreat from something damaging or dangerous, some bad environment. So we're on retreat. And it's an enclosed retreat. And it's a retreat we don't know when it will end. And during these last few weeks, we've been getting used to it, if not uh, entirely happy about it. And there is lots of help. The HSE is constantly advising us how to endure this cocooning and how to uh, do the best we can to keep healthy and exercise. And then on social media, it's come alive with all kinds of ideas. Uh, people have now something called Zoom, where they can make contact with their family. Over the Easter weekend, my family had a family quiz based in five different locations. And RTE now are also helping us by showing us great old movies from the past. They showed Casablanca, my favorite all-time movie over the weekend. The sports section are showing us classic football and Gaelic games that happened in the past. Mostly, I have to add, featuring Man United or Liverpool. And over the weekend, we saw that there was a great re-showing of that great All-Ireland semi-final some years ago between Limerick and Kilkenny. I thought Mick would be very happy to watch that, but he said no, he was at that game and he certainly wasn't going to watch it tonight. I said, well, you never know, Limerick might win this time. But you know, apart from all that going on, there is all over the world an outpouring of prayer a prayer to help the world during this pandemic. From our Holy Father, Pope Francis, to all the religious leaders all over the world, prayers every day, like the prayer sessions we're having in our Albate community. And all this prayer is going on, but yet every day, relentlessly, we hear the new statistics. How many more people have the virus? How many deaths have there been? And maybe there's a temptation because we're human, to think, well, all this prayer and nothing happening. Is our prayer being heard? Is the Lord listening to us? I'm reminded of the incident in St. Mark's Gospel where this father brings his son. His son has been infected with an evil spirit for years, his birth, and it is tormenting him. He's constantly not well, and the father is desperate. And he hears Jesus has come to his village and he goes to Jesus and he said, Lord, please heal my son. Jesus questions him and says, do you believe I can do this? And the father cries out, Lord, I do believe. Help thou my unbelief. Please help the little belief I have. It's a very honest prayer. And Jesus recognized the honesty behind it and cures his son. So we're reminded again of all the words of Jesus, knock and the door shall be opened, ask and you will receive. So no matter how tempted we are, we must always never, never keep up on prayer. Over the last few weeks, we, the Albaid family, have lost four of our members. And we didn't have the opportunity because, as it says, government restrictions. Funerals are mostly private, quiet affairs. We lost Father John Murphy, who was a great man in Inchicore in his 90s, a man that we all loved and respected. He 
He was a great encourager. He encouraged me when I was a very young priest. I've never forgotten that. He used to say he's from Termin Fecken, the cultural capital of the world. Father Tom Scully, Tom Scully needs no introduction, the great coach of an All-Ireland uh, Offaly football team. But he was also the great lover and helper of the homeless, building house, houses for them. He looked after our emigrants for many years in London. Tony Carroll, the great missioner and wonderful missioner and gave so many missions around the place and a great pastor and looked after the Albright Affairs for many years as a bursar. And finally, Father John Mo Nolan, who as a young Wexford man on ordination was told he was to go to a place called Bloemfontein. And like Abraham, he went off not really knowing where he was going. And it was in South Africa during the years of apartheid. He labored there for many, many years and gave his life really for his people. So these are the people that we want to share their story with. We hadn't got the opportunity to do it. We sympathize with our families who are missing them. And please God, someday in the not too distant future, we will all gather together and celebrate their lives. When an Aubrey dies, we gather round at the committal and sing the Salve Regina, the Hail Holy Queen. Thank you for joining us tonight here. Sleep well. Good night and God bless you.